Hello, welcome to Bob's Dungeon. My name's Bob, I'll be your host. And as you can see, I'm out and about again. So I can look at another creepy place. And this one isn't, isn't so much creepy as it is weird. And it's very much not secluded. So let's go ahead and have a look. And where we are is the intersection of 2nd and Tipton in Seymour, Indiana. This intersection is known as Hangman's Crossing. It's got railroad tracks that go right by it. The reason it's called Hangman's Crossing is because many years ago, there was a gang known as the Reno Brothers Gang. And they are the first ones to do a train robbery. And it happened on somewhere down there. <laughs> I'm not sure the exact location, but it was down these tracks. And a couple of the members were caught. And while they were transporting them by train, incidentally, to Seymour, at the Seymour jail, the train was stopped. The prisoners they had were taken by a vigilante group from Seymour, and they were hanged in a tree somewhere down this way. I'm pretty sure the tree's gone because the area is obviously changed over the years because this is just after the Civil War so anyway they called the intersection there Hangman's Crossing because of it and so I don't have an exact location except for the area that they've dubbed Hangs Hangman's Crossing but somewhere along here, historically, someone was truly hanged for the crimes they committed. And so it's not so much a creepy place as a place where historically something bad happened. And it's pretty neat. You got this stand of trees here, which I'm not going to go into. <laughs> but it's well worth a look. Cornfields, houses, and a furniture store right, right beside it. Busy street. So it's not very secluded. And that's pretty much all there is here. We're gonna take a look at something special to go along with this here in a minute. But while we're here, we'll go ahead and use the apps I've been using. I know the apps are kind of BS, but I have a lot of fun with them, and sometimes they give some pretty interesting results. So let's see what they can get from this location. This is the Ghost Tube SLS, and supposedly what it does is if it picks up a person or an entity, it builds a wire frame so you can see how they're moving. So usually I don't have much luck with this, except in cemeteries. And I think it's mostly reading the tombstones, but it's, you never know unless you try. And I'm not picking up anything, so we're going to go ahead and move on to the next app. This is a regular ghost tube app. What it does is it supposedly lets you... You can't understand. Huh. I guess I can't. 
Supposedly, I don't understand what's happening here. But supposedly, it lets you talk to entities and picks up electric magnetic things. Higher. So, higher. I can't talk. Well, you're doing a pretty good job so far. So, as you can see, it's pretty talkative here. Usually, it's not very talkative at all. So, is there anything here or anybody that wishes to speak with me? You can tell me anything you want. Because I am listening to you. Kelly. Kelly? Who's Kelly? Can you tell me who Kelly is? What does Kelly have to do with the Reno Brothers? Awfully talkative this time around, aren't you? Is there anything else you want to tell me before I move on? Nothing? Okay, then I guess we'll just move on to our final app. And this is the Ghost Tube Vox. It it's kind of like the regular Ghost Tube app, but doesn't have a pre-programmed vocabulary. So supposedly you can get a lot more being said. But whenever it does speak, I can never understand what it's saying. So does anybody want to speak with me? You can tell me anything you want. Anything you want to tell me is very cool by me. Like usual, I am not getting any success with this one. Help. What? I think I said in that. And I don't know what that means, but... <laughs> oh well. So let's just get on with it so we can get to the other part. And that was my look at Hangman's Crossing during the day. And we'll come back out here at night and take a look at how creepy this place is at night. And like I said, I, I know it's not the exact location where things went down, but this is this intersection that's by and stuff is what they call Hangman's Crossing and dedication of what went down. So now we're going to go to another site where I have something that I'm going to show you that goes along with this. So I'll see you there. And now we are in the Seymour City Cemetery. I plan to do a video on this cemetery at some point. But today, we're here for this. This fenced-in area with the three graves in it are the graves of the first three Reno brothers that they caught and hanged out there at Hangman's Crossing. And they got the rest of the Reno's, Reno brother gang later on. Some more of them were brought back to Seymour and again hanged by the same vigilantes the others died in various other spots but they did the, eventually the whole gang got wiped out but these were the first three that got caught after the first bank robbery all right first train robbery and were subs subsequently hanged and this is their graves. It's kind of neat. They put this here on the very edge of the cemetery. And they put a little walkway toward it. And at the beginning of the walkway, they have a plaque over here that describes a little bit about what happened. Not a lot of detail. But there it is. Tells you who's buried here and what went down. And that's the gravesite of the 
of three of the first people that robbed a train. We probably are not going to come back and look at the graves at night. So like I said, I do plan on doing this cemetery at some point. And we might check the, check these graves out at night then. But since I was doing Hangman's Crossing, I thought this would be something interesting to take a look at, to go with that. So, let's now wait around for night so I can do Hangman's Crossing at night. And we are back at Hangman's Crossing in Seymour at night. And don't really want to shine my light up on the road, but there's enough lights over there. You can see the houses. And there's where Tipton meets 2nd Street. And that's the intersection that is known as Hangman's Crossing here in Seymour. And like I said, it's supposedly where they hung around this area where they hung the Reno brothers for being the first train robbers. <laughs> so, you know, so much for being the first for something. <laughs> well, at any rate, I said we'd come out here and look at night. You can see how creepy it is. If there's a cornfield. And we'll follow the railroad tracks a little bit. So we get out here by the trees and then we'll use the apps I use and see if we can come up with something else. The one app was very talkative today. Given that I didn't get anything related to what this place is, it's pretty much just gibberish. Now, as you can hear, there's still a lot of traffic, even though it's nighttime. Tipton turns into 50, and so it's really, really busy. But. This place is, even though it's, this place has a feeling that it should be creepy, but given how close it is to the houses and a busy street, it kind of really loses a lot of its creepiness. Otherwise, this would be pretty creepy. Now, I've never heard of any actual stories about ghosts out here or anything. Uh, I'm sure somebody tells some, but I haven't heard them. Let me know in the comments if you've ever heard anybody talk about seeing ghosts here. But as far as I've looked into it, I haven't heard of actual any ghosts just a creepy place where some bad stuff happened well this is far enough we're going to go ahead and use the apps I've been using and see if we can come up with some different stuff at night that we didn't come up with during the day here we go it's tube SLS I've never really had much success with this app especially at night And I don't expect to have much success now. I think it's trying to pick up the railroad tracks, really. <laughs> so maybe the railroad tracks through here is haunted. <laughs> that would be creepy. Yeah, I think it's just trying to pick up the railroad tracks. Let's go ahead and move on. And this is the regular ghost tube app. Now, it was a little bit talkative 
a little bit more than it has been during the day. So let's see if we can pick up anything at night. Is there anybody here that wishes to speak with me? You can say anything you want. I'm listening. You can tell me whatever you'd like. You mentioned a girl's name earlier during the day. Is there anything about her you'd like to tell me? Nothing? Talkative during the day, silent at night. I get it. So I guess we'll move on. And here is the Ghost 2 Vox. We got one thing during the day that it tried to say. I didn't quite understand it, but maybe it'll say something now. Is there anybody there that'd like to say anything to me? You can tell me anything you want. Nothing? You had a little to say during the day. Nothing during the night. Yeah? I don't think I'm going to get anything but gibberish. And that was my look at Hangman's Crossing in Seymour, Indiana. It's really interesting. If you're into history, you should probably look it up. It's pretty neat. And when I use the apps, they went about the way they normally do. I don't know what Kelly is on the Ghost Tube app. But anyway, it was weird. So thank you for joining me at a look at Hangman's Crossing. And hopefully you'll join me next time where we'll talk about something else. Bye.